On the 16th century map, the name of the North Atlantic Ocean was Sinus Oceanate. It's that's really hard Greek, Latin, whatever. While the Central Atlantic Southwest of present day Liberia appeared on Sinus Atlantis in the Southern Atlantic um, Ocean. On this, by the 17th century, John Seller divided the Atlantic Ocean in two parts by means of the equator. So that's how it happened. They, they, they named a lot of what they would call the Atlantic Antarctica because they were dividing it by the equator. So again, they decided to even divide, not only were they dividing Africa and they were putting border lines and this and that, but they were dividing the world as how they wanted to see. And instead of showing you like this, this is how the, um, the Greeks saw the world, Europa, Asia, and Libya, and you know, the rest is Africa, and there's the Ethiopian Ocean. So again, a lot of the 16th, 17th century Europeans were seeing things from their own, like, you know, white supremacy worldview, where the ancient Greeks and the Romans never really did. They usually saw things with a lot less prejudice than the later white Anglo-Saxon or German people did regarding the whole world. But this is something too interesting I wanted to share with you all. Give me one second. It's called Restore the Name of the Ethiopian Ocean. And let's check this out. This is from the subcontinent map of McFadden of London on the Dutch colony of the Cape of Good Hope. In each of these maps, the southern part of the ocean, now called Atlantic Ocean, was named Oceanus Ephiaphic, excuse me about that, Ethiopic Ocean or Ethiopian Ocean for several centuries. As a person of Ethiopian origin who values the history of humanity, its pearls and advancements, successes and failures collectively, I believe is up to the contemporary society to present information for conception of knowledge based on facts. And check this out. Where was it? Touch the history of things in their wider perspective. Perspective. I expect the data of information presented in a document preserved and display history from the beginning of map formations by Greeks, Romans, and recent Europeans, particularly Portuguese. The naming of the ocean had implications in those times as Ethiopia was, Ethiopia was one of the strongest empires in the world. Now that's coming from the 1795 Dutch um, colony of the Cape of Good Hope. As a partner of travel and across the Indian Ocean, these strong powers shared names, technologies, and other cultures, artifacts. It is from these close encounters that the Greeks and Romans have fascinations with Ethiopia and their original cartographers, 